colony of fleas just popped up right here. Yep. Right here. We should at least get some. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah, you guys. That's exactly what we needed. That right there is one of the bigger sand fleas I've ever seen, you guys. That thing is a freaking mondo. All right, y'all, we're gonna blanch some sand fleas. They were around today. They've been hit or miss lately, so I decided to bring some home to blanch and freeze for next trip. So let's get straight into it. First, we're just gonna give these guys a good rinse. Wanna get all the sand and any shells or anything like that off of them and just out of the picture. So we'll do that real quick. All right. We've got our water boiling on the Seth McGinn's multi-fuel cooker. If you're interested in checking one of those out, I highly recommend them. You can go to cancooker.com. But uh, yeah, we're going to let our water get up to boil. And then we're going to put our sand fleas in for about two minutes. And then we're going to drop them straight into an ice bath after that. All right, let's get these guys in there. Yeah, guys, you'll see them start to float to the top and turn orange when they're getting close. All right, these guys are ready. Let's go drain them and get them in their ice bath. All right, let's drop them in the ice bath. Let's get them all down in there. And that's, that's that. We will uh, give these another rinse when they're done and then bag them up and freeze them. Well, just like that, my friends, we got bait for next time to get us started. Um, I put these into two different packages because honestly, if you thaw them out, you don't want to refreeze them again. So just take enough for the next trip. That way you'll save some for next time too. Because honestly, you guys know if you fished, surf fished enough, sand fleas can be fickle. They can be around in droves and then just disappear the next time you're out. So always be prepared with some frozen fleas. 